Hey guys, it's me Ronald from Technic Box, and today I will show you some tips on speeding up your PC and also um, protecting it from different kinds of malwares, etc. And the first step is to uh, delete the temporary files. You can go to run and then type in these things. Let me show you how to do that and right click and go to run, then type in the temp and then click on ok you can see files there a lot of files and then you can see that it takes up a lot of space those are unnecessary files which are created during installations and you can delete that files and you can skip those uh, undeletable files because they are being used right now and yep yeah, those files only take up uh, less fi uh, less space and let's close that go to run and then type in temp t e m p not that person sign and then those files are also huge you can delete those files too and that's done the second step you can delete that from the um, recycle bin too you should delete that and the second step is to uh, use disk cleanup for that go to my computer right click on C and go to properties you can see the disk cleanup option there it takes a while and then click on cleanup system files wait and then click on ok and then delete files and it's being deleted and all the files are being cleared ok it's done and click on ok and you can close that and the third step is to uh, defragment your drives for that you have to go to my computer right click C properties and tools and you can see the dis defragment option click on defragment and then click on analyze you can see the uh, fragmented uh, size percent and then click on optimize it's being defragmented right now and it takes time so I'm closing it you should complete that in order to uh, fully defragment the drive and the uh, a fourth step is to uninstall unwanted programs and then you can do that by going to control panel and then clicking on um, uninstall a program and then you can choose the unwanted applications you can uh, choose those applications and right click on that and then you can click on uninstall to uninstall the program and you can complete those steps and the fifth is to disable unwanted startup applications and you can in windows 8 as you can see i'm running windows 8 and in windows 8 you can um, uh, go to uh, task manager okay let me open task manager right now here's task manager and then you can go to startup on top and then you can select the files which uh, it's not important to you like um, google talk uh, yahoo messenger applications which pops up when you boot up the system and you can click on those files which you don't need and you can click on disable uh, do not uh, disable files like um, graphics card options something like that and that may cause some unexpected damages no damages really it doesn't load up well and the next step is to if you're running other operating systems like windows xp or windows 7 you can go to run and then type in msconfig and then click on ok and then go to startup and as you can see in windows 8 it's moved to task manager and that's it and the next step is to um, delete the crash reports and those files are created by operating system when a program crashes and go to my computer a user and then you can you have to uh, go to um, the address bar and type in uh, app data and then go to local and then type in go to microsoft and then go to windows and then you have to go to wer and then open that and you can see files sometimes here which are um, crash reports and you can delete those files and you can see some files in the other folder too you can right click on that and delete that okay that's it and delete that from the recycle bin too and the next step is to uh, no that's a tip and don't keep 
the unnecessary files in uh, you know uh, the except the program files you can see that i have kept only the uh, operating system files on drive c those files like games and films should be kept only in other drives like defg and keep your c drive clean and you have to uh, protect you can protect your computer by updating your um, antivirus as you can see i am using avira right now and you can click on update to update your antivirus to the latest date and the next step is to update the drivers and no sorry update the um, operating system and uh, you can go to in windows set you can go to uh, system settings and then you can go to windows update and from there you can update your operating system if an update is available that can fix some bugs and improve your speed and the next step is to update drivers drivers and those drivers are files which uh, make the uh, different components of your computer like uh, graphics card etc to work you can go to disk manager i mean uh, hardware manager and then you can go to uh, those things like uh, keyboard drivers and not keyboard drivers you can go to mm, uh, for example uh, graphics card drivers and you can go to update them uh, those are some of the uh, up, uh, hardwares on your computer and then you can click on update and then you can update if you have an update um, I have a um, AMG graphics card AMD uh, Radeon graphics card and here you can see it 8570 and you can go to the MD website and check for any driver updates or new uh, softwares and that will help the uh, program to run more smoothly and you can you also want to scan those um, files all files with your antivirus you can go to system scan and then you can perform a full system scan and to check for any virus uh, virus or unwanted programs can cause slowdown on your system and that's a pretty bad thing to happen and the last step is do not in install untrusted applications and those untrusted applications may include virus or some other spying softwares which can cause danger to you you can uninstall programs and those which you think are untrusted um, you can see the publisher options right there and check for the publisher and you can see some of the some of my applications and uh, some uh, publishers doesn't seem to be trusted and you can see the Microsoft Windows Intel and Google etc are some of the trusted application providers and you can um, install their programs without any doubt you can believe them and yes these are some of the steps to increase the PC speed click on the like button that helps me a lot and click on the subscribe button if you on more videos that's it guys thanks for watching see you in the next video bye